Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here and you are very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. Why do I say that? Because I love everyone. I don't hate people because they disagree with me or hate me or say I've got yellow teeth or bad hair or I look ugly or whatever people want to say about me. It doesn't matter. I appreciate you all. Come in. Watch the videos. Agree? Disagree? I don't care. Right. Today's about rumours. One rumour I want to dispel is about me. There's a rumour going around on the internet that I am dating a fellow female YouTuber. I don't know how this started. I think I said something nice about her. I'm not going to say who, but basically it's not true. She's so above my league, um, my height would shrink from six foot to about three foot. So I thought I'd dispel that. For those of you who know who I'm talking about will know there's no chance. I've got no chance with this girl. Anyway, welcome to Thursdays. I nearly forgot the day. Thursdays, DCEU Daily. So there's a in so today's about rumours. There is an insane rumour that Christopher Nolan's right secret project is actually the Green Lantern um, corpse right uh, film. Now, if this was true, I'd do a video of me in my boxes, actually naked, dancing around doing the jig. It's not, um, but it's funny how people, because there's been an African-American actor cast, there's been, you know, there's been a, a, a white guy cast and people are putting two and two together and it's it's really, really funny. And you know what? I would absolutely love this if, if it was true. Um, a film written by Jeff Johns and directed by Christopher Nolan being a Green Lantern Corpse film would be absolutely awesome, but it's not true. Unfortunately, it is not true. Now, I just saw an interview. I'm not going to play it, but I just saw an interview between Army Hammer um, being interviewed, basically, about the Batman thing. And um, he's saying it's not true. He goes, here's the thing about rumours. The people who start them can't give me the job. Um, they're not Warner Brothers. So he was asked, would you like the job? He goes, every man in this audience would love the job. Who doesn't want to be... Um, Batman, I would love the gig. In fact, he's always wanted to gig. And I think he nearly played Batman once, didn't he? So, um, look, it doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means we just don't know. Um, this is how I think. I think they've chosen. And Matt Reeves has chosen who he wants as Batman. I hope it's an unknown. I don't want it to be someone famous. I think Dick Donner was right with Superman as well. If you choose a star, you see the star. You don't see Superman. And I think it's the same as Batman. You see, Michael Keaton, although he was established, he wasn't that famous. Christian Bale was established, but he wasn't that famous. It didn't work with George Clooney because he was famous. He was George Clooney. He wasn't Bruce Wayne and he wasn't Batman. It wasn't his fault. He tried his best. He just wasn't bad. So Shazam hype is through the absolute roof. This is amazing. And on Saturday, we can post our reviews. And I can't wait to do that for you. I'm still going to make it a non-spoilery one, even though I'll be allowed to be a, a spoilery one. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't think it's fair. Because hardcore fans like us get to see the film straight away. But there's so many people who can't afford to, got kids, or just are not able to see it in the first week, maybe the first two weeks. So I'm going to hold off on doing a spoiler review, but I will definitely... Um, do a proper um, review um, and we can talk about the nuance of the film um, I've said quite a bit about the film without um, being spoilery I love it um, I, I hate saying best superhero film ever because I'm not doing that um, I think it's so good, it's a big achievement because I keep on saying this, it's the mixture of tones you know, there's this obsession especially from MCU fans and fanboys and girls that you know, universes should have the same tones. But I don't think films have to have the same tones within the films. Um, I think there can be a dark and a light element. And this is what this film does so well. And everyone is saying this. My only fear for Shazam is not the content of the film, that people are going to mistake the trailers as a spoof superhero film. And then people won't bother watching it because they just think it's a silly comedy. Please. If you're watching this video and you're not a superhero fan, go and watch this film. It is effing awesome. You will get everything. Pure escapism. 
No ideology. It is beautiful. But it is great to see a young boy who becomes a superhero who's in the foster care system, who befriends a boy on crutches, who's really not had any friends before. The Shazam family. Wow. I want them to be my family. There's so much love in this film. And David F. Sandberg um, and the writers of this film, I can't remember who wrote this film, but I tell you what, this is quite comic book accurate. The only thing that's not accurate, really, I suppose, is um, Zachary Levi. He's not automatically the, the kind of actor aesthetically you choose, but he's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. He does make you believe he's a kid as this superhero who looks like an adult. But me mentally wise, um, he's a kid. And I think, this, look, this is a great film. And I show you what's really funny. More women seem to have enjoyed this film than they enjoyed Captain Marvel. The amount of women telling me, Mick, this film is freaking amazing. Because, you know, I do a lot of research. You know, I don't just spit things out out of hate. And the truth of the matter is that Captain Marvel was a very generic, ordinary, not a particularly enjoyable film. Um, and, and it's important to get um, the female kind of outlook to this because females are, are being told to go and watch Captain Marvel because it's for them but the reality is females have told me it doesn't re represent them it doesn't represent who they are but they f they feel a lot more like Shazam than they do um Captain Marvel what I think is great about Shazam this is a film for everyone 10 years and above boys girls men women doesn't matter you can go and watch this film and you can identify with it because a young boy who's not wealthy who's not important in the scheme of things, even though I believe everyone's important in life, um, gets to, to be this. And this young disabled boy gets to be his kind of, kind of, I suppose, co-pilot within this film and the adventures. I think that's beautiful. It really is. So if you, if you want escapism, if you want to come out with a, a smile on your face, like I just did, because even from the test screening, which is all I've seen, and definitely the theatrical cut is actually quite different. And um, definitely come onto my Twitter, um, um, Movies TV Mad, 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 no, movie, at Movies TV Mad, DM me if you've seen the early release, the theatrical cut. I want to know, DM me. So I'm quite happy to hear any spoilers that are kind of different from the test screenings, but just let me know what you've seen. Just, just so I know, I don't. I personally don't care about spoilers. I won't release spoilers. I won't tell people. I respect people who love film, who love superheroes, because I am one of you. I ain't doing this for money. I ain't doing this for popularity. I'm, you know, I'm nowhere near um, a thousand subscribers. That's not important. I've got over just over 500 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. We're here to talk about film. We're here to talk about opinion. We're here to debate. And you most certainly will not get dismissed if you don't agree with me. I won't go on Twitter and screenshot what you said to me in the comments just because it doesn't suit my agenda. I think that's pathetic. And that's not a way to run. I personally think a lot of YouTube channels are run on hate. I don't want to run mine on hate. I just want to say how I feel about something. And it's kind of... I think it's it's a community here that I want to create where everyone has a right to say what they want. And just don't be an asshole, though. Don't be horrible. Just say, look, I don't agree with you, Mick, and this is what I think. We can have a little debate about it. But anyway, really excited about Shazam. Um, those Green Lantern rumours, for sure, um, definitely uh, are not true. But, you know, Green Lantern core is happening. Uh, I can't wait. It's Green Lantern core, isn't it? It's not core. Sorry. A lot of hardcore fans get offended by it, kind of the way it's pronounced. But anyway, um, what I will say to you is, and I should have started off with this, um, there's going to be big Superman news after everyone's seen Shazam. Big, big Superman news after everyone's seen Shazam. Now, just finishing off, let's talk about Zack Snyder, because I haven't spoken about Zack for a very long time. And I know a few of you are disappointed about that. So he's got these big conventions. Should we just call it the Snyder Conventions, right? He's doing these, the, his films. Um, his films, you can go and see his films. He's there, and then he's going to bring special guests. 
who've been involved in said films. And there's a question and answer. Now, I know it's on Vero. He's asking for people's questions. Um, there could be a situation where you, you won't be able to stand there and ask him questions, um, but maybe you'll get to write the questions on a card. And a few people are saying they're going to be disappointed about this. There's a big elephant in the room. That's the Snyder Cut. And I mean, if all you're going to do is ask about the Snyder Cut, think about Zach. Is that fair to put him in a position? He wants to do this. He's pushed for this. He's done everything he can, but he's not Warner Brothers. It is up to Warner Brothers. Kevin Sujihara's exit is a big positive if you want to see the Snyder Cut. So let's keep on pushing for that. And if you want to ask him that question, yeah, but I hope, I just hope, because I'm putting myself in Zach's position, ask him about the film um, he's screening there. Um, and of course, if you get an opportunity to write on the card about the Snyder Cut, ask the question. Of course, I don't blame you. Maybe he'll answer it. I think the reason you probably won't have the opportunity to stand there and ask the questions is because of the elephant in the room. That is the Snyder Cut. So anyway, let me know about what we've spoken about today. Comment down below, like, share and subscribe, and I shall see you tomorrow in tomorrow's edition of the DCEU Daily.